Hey guys, welcome back to this week's video. We're doing a little bit more on the Land Rover series. Check it out. Hey guys, welcome back. We've got a bit of an impromptu video today because one of our viewers has asked for some help and we're quite happy to help, aren't we, Dan? We sure are, sometimes. Most of the time. So, um, when I was trying to find the information on wiring a Series 2A, um, I found it quite hard. The wiring diagrams wouldn't give me all the information. There was a few people that had done a Series 3, but there was nothing really on a Series 2, and it looks like they're different. Um, well, they are different. Basically, the dash is completely different. <laughs> I'll show you the back of the dash in a minute. So what I wanted to do is just go through what information I found and how I've wired this. I'm not saying that this is 100% right. I'm saying that I've followed the wiring diagrams. I've got it running. I've got quite a few things working, but it's not 100% finished yet. So I'll run through what I found. We'll start um, at the dashboard here. Okay. Sorry, at the bulkhead here. Dashboard the other side. We'll start there. <laughs> so basically, fuse box. We found that the white wires go to the green, the purple goes to the brown. And then we follow the loom down. We got the browns go to one side of the starter solenoid. Obviously, this one runs off to the starter. And then the switch for the starter is this one. And that goes to the back of the dashboard. Um, then obviously your browns, which are all your lives, come to here. Um, I did find, so obviously this has got to be bypassed because if this one is running an alternator, um, so while we're on that subject, so basically this wires, these wires go to the back of the alternator. Um, but obviously we haven't got that We at haven't the moment. got that yet. So, so yeah, go back to it. So basically I've done a quick bypass between the two here to join these up together for now. Um, so that does still need a little bit of work, but by doing that, I've now got everything working on the dashboard. I've got an oil pressure light. So. I'm pretty happy. I just need a bit more information on how people are bypassing that. Because yeah, that doesn't need it anymore, but I want it to still be there so it looks right. Yeah, that's that's the next part of the, the video, isn't it? Is that we need to do a bit more of a deep dive into wiring this and how to bypass that. So if anyone's got any information on that, that'd be great. But right, we'll carry on. So I ran some temporary earths for now um, to this side. And as you can see, that's what's made this all work. Um, I've then ran a temporary wire from, where was it? It was from the live here to this side. Um, which one was that? That is, that's this one. So yeah, so I've just put a live from the main supply to here for now so that this is all working. So we go through, so that still needs a bit of work. Coming down this way, you've got, um, Obviously, these wires are just straight connections, easy as, colour to colour. That's provided you've got a new loom. So this is, we've opted to go for a brand new loom for this because the existing wiring was, well, it, it left a lot to be desired. You've probably seen the previous video, it's not too good. So this, this shows sort of very clear colours, but they might not match exactly what you've got if you're using an existing loom. They should. These looms are meant to be like for life. They are, but um, just in case, the you know, some of the colours might not 100% match. So this wire in here is to the back of the vehicle, um, just so you can see some of the colours. Um, I think I need to just work out what they were. I did know I should have put a label on them, but I haven't. And then we have this piece of loom here. Yeah, comes around. Front lights, aren't they? If you come to here, that they are for your front lights. Um, they are for the horn. And then that runs through here and across with more wires. Yeah. Um, again, these are all lighting and come out this side. So these are all to do with the lighting. So that's the lighting loom. <clears throat> right, coming along here, um, this bit of loom is it's to the alternator. The alternator. But so, it's also got a little sensor down there. Okay, so obviously we've got the live wires go to here. This is the alternator loom. So these brown wires run along here and down to the alternator connection, which is them two. 
that um, yellow wire is um, a trigger wire for the alternator to the back of the dash. As far as I know, yes, yeah, that is right. So it's coming around and goes to the back. Um, if we come down here, follow the loom down, it goes to the oil pressure switch, which is green and yellow. And then we follow that up. It's on this bit of loom. We have um, green and blue, and that is your coolant temperature sensor, um, which is just under here. And that goes to the back, to this, to the dash, um, to the temperature gauge on the back of the dash. So yeah, so I'm not sure this loom's in the right place yet, but the connections are right. This wire goes to the choke, um, from what I can see. But again, it, this is a different card to a standard one. It hasn't got a connection on there. I need to look into what people are doing to wire that up correctly. Okay, so go to the coil. Um, the coil here has a white wire that comes off this main bit of loom going in the back. And then I've had to make um, another wire that goes down to the dizzy, which is this one. And that goes to here, which is to the dizzy. Um, and as I say, this is all running, so this is working. So I'm pretty happy with most of this. Um, we will just pop the dash down and show you the back of the dash and see where the wires go there. Okay, so this is the piece of loom that runs through the chassis to the back of the vehicle. Um, we haven't ran this through yet. I have taped it up ready to pull through, um, but access is not the best. So that is a job to come back to. Okay, coming around to the dash, we've got um, wires come through. We've got, um, I can't remember the colours. I'm just going to pop them off. So we've got a green and a purple and a green goes to your brake light switch then we have the lovely indicators an indicator relay which i'm not willing to even fit this because it needs sorting i think i might be able to salvage this bit but we need to order one of these this doesn't come in the loom um, just to recap, this is an Auto Sparks wiring loom. Uh, the only thing I would say is if you're going to buy one, I would ask for the earth wires, which I didn't get. And I would probably ask for, obviously, a lighting relay and things. They are things I'm going to have to sort, so that's not a problem. You learn as you go along though, don't you? Oh, yes. Right, back of the Series 2A dash. So, obviously, we source this dash. As far as I know, it is right. It looks right from what I can see, but going through it, this was really hard to find the information on. So, again, these ones here are lighting wires. You probably recognise the colours from the front before. They are for your main beam switch that goes on the floor down here. Again, I haven't got one of them. I need to track one of them down. But that's what these are for. That's why they're not connected. Then, we'll just go through it. So, we've got our interior light which obviously is the red and white that goes around to your your headlights uh, sorry yeah side and headlights which is this switch which is obviously your red and black and then in the uh, in that corner we've got um brown and blue a blue and then i think that's just a red so again they're all connected up and working obviously we tested with a test lamp not actual put lights in yeah. yeah um wipers so we've got this loom here that runs across there the again meter. that doesn't come in the auto sparks loom but our one's actually okay so we're reusing that so again these are the colors we've got on the back of the switch and the locations um as you can see there good um okay so this is the piece of loom that runs through the chassis to the back of the vehicle um, we haven't ran this through yet. I have taped it up ready to pull through, um, but access is not the best. So that is a job to come back to. Okay, coming around to the dash, we've got um, wires come through. We've got, um, I can't remember the colours. I'm just going to pop them off. So we've got a 
green and a purple and a green gives you brake light switch. Then we have the lovely indicators and indicator relay, which I'm not willing to even fit this because it needs sorting. I think I might be able to salvage this bit, but we need to order one of these. This doesn't come in the loom. Um, just to recap, this is an auto sparks wiring loom. Uh, the only thing I would say is if you're gonna buy one, I would ask for the earth wires, which I didn't get. And I would probably ask for obviously a lighting relay and things. They are things I'm gonna have to sort, so that's not a problem. You learn as you go along though, don't you? Oh yes. Right, back of the Series 2A dash. So obviously we source this dash. As far as I know, it is right. It looks right from what I can see, but going through it, this was really hard to find the information on. So again, these ones here are lighting wires. You probably recognize the colors from the front before. They are for your main beam switch that goes on the floor down here. Again, I haven't got one of them. I need to track one of them down. But that's what these are for. That's why they're not connected. Then we'll just go through it. So we've got our interior light, which obviously is the red and white. That goes around to your, your headlights. Uh, sorry, yeah, side and headlights, which is this switch, which is obviously your red and black. Then in, the, uh, in that corner, we've got um, brown and blue, a blue, and then I think that's just a red. So again, they're all connected up and working. Obviously, we tested with a test lamp, not actual put lights yeah. in yet. Um, wipers. So we've got this loom here that runs across there. The again, meter. that doesn't come in the Auto Sparks loom, but our one's actually okay. So we're reusing that. So again, these are the colours we've got on the back of the switch and the locations. Um, as you can see there, um, red and green brown and green i think that's just a solid green and then another solid green onto the side of that one i think one's classed as a dark green one's classed as a light green i think okie dokie and then onto the back of the switch again this was really hard to find the information that is the wire which was saying about before that goes to the starter solenoid your main live one is this brown and then i think that's just the white mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just white, which goes to the fuse, the fuse box. Um, okay, so carry on. We've got our fuel gauge, which are the light green and the dark green with the black. Then our water temperature, which are these two, which you could see before when we were underneath the bonnet, you could see the coolant temperature sensor and that is the green and blue that's going to the sensor. Um, this is just your little 12 volt supply, uh, like a little cigarette lighter sort of thing. Obviously that is just a, a brown, which is going straight to the fuse box. And then these are all your earths coming through. We'll go back to this side. Obviously you've got um, your headlight main beam, which is that one. And that one was, uh, the oil pressure, which again, you could see underneath before at the oil pressure switch, the same color. What else we got? This is obviously brown and brown and white. That was the one which is not connected to the choke, the other side, but obviously this is your choke cable. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that is a reasonable amount of it explained the best I can. As I, say, I, found, I found it really hard to find the information out there. Yep. Um, I looked at wiring diagrams, I got the manuals, and <laughs> it was... We yeah. even have a piece of history. Yeah, and I still couldn't find an accurate wiring diagram. Nope. There was a, a guy um, asked on Facebook about a wiring diagram, which I think I mentioned in the previous video. And I'm privately messaged him. He sent me through the wiring diagrams, which was fantastic. Um, I'll see if I can put a picture of them um, up now as well, just so you can see them. But yeah, hopefully that helps. Say, I know it's not 100% complete, 
But even that information that I've tried to give you guys there, I found really hard to find. So yeah, hope that helps guys. Any, anything else I can out with, please let us know. Please like and subscribe. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss the next episode. See you next time.